My name is Brian Oakley. We're here at Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, and with uh, Tony and everyone else from MotoGP and uh, Moto America, Suzuki Race Teams. We are going to be going on a tour, uh, several locations today on tour. We are going to be starting off at the new Buoyancy Laboratory, and where the crews train for extravehicular activities. Here in Building 9, visitors are going to get a chance to actually tour through the different modules. There is a, a subset that are available to us today. Some are presently used for crew training, so they'll get a chance to not only see inside the modules, but get, get a glimpse into the crews actually doing some uh, the familiarization training here today. And uh, we have a special surprise. We're going to be going down to the robotics section, looking at the new uh, robotics exploration vehicles, as well as some uh, humanoid robots. And we do have a special surprise for all of the riders coming up as well. After that, we'll be heading over to Mission Control, where we'll be viewing the real-time uh, International Space Station Operations Support, uh, where the Flight Director and all the other teams uh, support uh, space station operations. When we wrap up here in Building 9, we'll be traveling out to Rocket Park, where one of the remaining Apollo uh, Saturn V rockets is, is housed. It's inside a building, it's been restored. It is one of the few rockets left from the original Apollo program. It was never launched because Apollo stopped launching after Apollo 17, so we have an actual light unit ready for them to give it to our team. I'm interested in motorcycles myself. Primarily, I am a racer. I road race vintage uh, motorcycles. I also uh, motocross vintage as well. Uh, it is a surprise that a lot of Johnson Space Center people are into motorcycles, a lot. Most everyone we talk to here, some people you meet will mention their bikes, show pictures of their bikes, or let, let you know that they're coming out to the races. Well, came here to uh, change the, the perspective of everything because uh, it's impossible to imagine all the preparatives this thing needs. No, and it's been incredible to see everything, every single detail of preparation. I never imagined that, and I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to, to visit all these all these things. No, and be next to to this rocket. I never in my life I could imagine is is huge. How this huge thing can, can can fly, can take off and and go out there to space. Right? It's insane for me. It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs>